Hi everyone, uh, this is Heather with Pampered Chef and I wanted to do a video about how to make the necklaces for the booking necklace game. Um, if you have never heard of the booking necklace game, what it is, is you make these necklaces, which I'm going to show you exactly how to do that from start to finish. Um, you make these necklaces and you bring them with you to your parties or to the cooking shows that you do and when people walk in you're going to hand them one of these to put around their neck and they're all different um, products you can see right here that I've got a bunch of different ones you're going to hand them this um, you're not going to tell them what it is though until the end so once you've done your cooking demonstration and you're ready to do your booking and recruiting spiel um, you're going to tell them okay everybody we've got um, these cute little necklaces that I gave you when you walked in the door you're probably all wondering what those are about and what these are is when you book your own cooking show um, this month or next month, whatever the month is, um, you are going to get the product that you have around your neck for free. For free as a gift from me to say thank you for hosting. And um, you know what's also neat about this is that when you book your show, your host or our host for tonight is going to get one of these as well. She's going to get the same product for free. Um, and that means that if 5, 10, 15 of you book shows, our lovely host is going to get 5, 10, or 15 products for free. Um, and the idea is for your host to go, oh my gosh, girls, get on this. Go ahead, book your show now because I want that stuff. Um, and that, that really helps you. So that's the idea. Um, you can see I've got kind of a wide array of things here. And I tried to pick products that are between, oh, I don't know like six and I think my most expensive thing is uh, the garlic press which is sixteen fifty. Um, so you know keep it on the lower end range and you're probably thinking oh my gosh Heather am I gonna have to buy a million products for these people well here's the thing about that um, there's a couple ways that you can do it one way the way that is um, shown in in different things if you look up the the booking necklace game um, what they tell you to do is that when you actually do the the show um, the, the new host show, you're just going to add whatever product they, they got um, that they're getting for free onto the, to the host order so that you get the host discount. So really, you're not paying that much, which is cool, but um, if you're really concerned, you really don't have the money to, to do this and, and to pay for stuff out of pocket, um, what I'm going to try to do, because I, I personally, I don't know about everybody else, hopefully you all have lots and lots of PC dollars saved up. Um, I am going to actually be using PC dollars uh, on, on these purchases because really, you know, you're going to get that discount. First of all, I think that you'd actually get a bigger discount because you're going to get 20% off um, your order, which I guess your host does too. But depending on whichever is the bigger discount, um, you're going to get the discount and then you use your PC dollars to purchase these. Um, and it's nice because really, you know, yeah, you're spending a little bit of, of money and you're not going to get your, your, own, um, your own products with your PC dollars. However, Doing this is meant to help boost your bookings and, and people's interest in the business. Um, and that's ultimately going to double and triple your PC dollars. So anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, okay, so we're, I'm going to get started and show you guys. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to get on your computer. You can see I already have the Pampered Chef website pulled up here. You're going to click Shop Online. You guys know how to do this, right? I'm pretty sure. Um, so let's see. We're just going to boo boo cookbooks. Why not? We're gonna, oh, that looks good. Um, we're going to click on, uh, let's do chocolate, the chocolate cookbook, because this is, yeah, this is, you can see this is $8. Okay, so say I really want to print this out and use this for my necklace. You're going to click on it. Um, when you get to it, you can do a couple things. You can just click on the image, or usually, uh, with some of the products, there's an actual button that says view larger. Um, and you're going to click that because before you print, oh, sorry, my hand's on the way. Um, before you print the picture out, you want to make sure that you have the biggest image possible. So once you get there, we're going to right click our mouse, save images, and I'm going to go to pictures here. Um, and then I actually have a Pampered Chef uh, folder that I keep all my pictures in. You can see a bunch of random stuff. And then you're going to save it. So I, I would go in here to file name, change it to um, chocolate cookbook or whatever you want to change it to. And then you're going to save it. And you're, um, so click save. And then once you've gotten all of the uh, pictures that you want for your necklaces, you're going to go back into this file. Let's see if I can do it this way. Um, 
you're going to click on the first thing that you want and then you're going to click the control button which is right here you're going to hold that down and then you're going to click whatever other things you want oh wait why is that not working oh it's yelling at me um okay sorry so let's try that again so you're going to click you're going to hit control you're going to click why is it not working Hmm. I don't know why that's not working for some reason. Oh, you know why? Ha ha ha. Sorry, I goofed. Okay, so it, it's trying to save the, the file. I'm sorry. So, okay, so go ahead and save your file. I goofed. And then once you've done that, I'm actually going to click out of here. And then we're going to go down to back into the pictures file. So I'm going to click pictures. I'm going to click on Pampered Chef. And then, then I'm going to do this. So, okay, so you're going to click on what you want. You're going to hit control. You're going to hold down control. And then any other pictures that you're going to want to print. Aha, see there, it's working. So I'm going to click, all right, I'm going to click five or six things here. So you want to make sure that all of the pictures are highlighted. You can go ahead and take, when you're done, you can take your finger off the control button. You're going to go to any one of the pictures that are highlighted, and you're going to right-click on it. And you're going to hit print. Okay, so at first it's going to look like this, at least on a PC. I'm not sure about um, a Mac, but this is what you're going to do for a PC. So you can see on the side here, there's a bunch of different options for um, picture sizes. You're going to click on the wallet, set of nine, and then you're going to make sure that you unclick the fit picture to frame. And then I found that that size, that um, doing the nine wallet size pictures, is perfect. And that's going to get you this size, these sizes that you see here. Um, okay, so we're going to print those out as many as you want. And then I'm going to flip these over so you can see. And then you want to make sure that every picture has what the item is, the item number, and the cost of the item written on the back. So that um, you've got that, you don't have to go looking it up. Um, okay, so this brings us to, once we've got it printed out, um, you've written all the information on the back, you're going to cut out the pictures, um, and then let me show you what you're going to need to make these necklaces. So you've got your pictures, obviously, that you've printed out. The first thing you're going to need is, I got this, this is Recollections brand, I got this from, um, sorry, Michael's, self-adhesive laminate roll is what you want to get. And you can find it in the scrapbooking section. You're going to want a hole punch, just your typical hole punch, scissors, a pen obviously for writing, um, and some ribbon. And I found these cute little ribbon with the purses and the shoes and all, very girly and cute. Um, and then I actually also got, just for seasonal purposes, and also if there's a guy and, you know, there's a lot of secure men out there, but not all of them are, so um, just something that's a little more neutral. Um, and you can get these. This one, this one was on sale. This was only 49 cents. This one was 99 cents. So, um, and then the laminate roll, I think, was six bucks. But if you're shopping at Walmart, or sorry, not Walmart, at Michaels, you can always get a um, a coupon for like 40 percent off. So, um, yeah. And then this, I think, was like three or four bucks. A little hole punch. If you don't already have one, most people have a hole punch. I did not. So, anyway, okay. So what I did is I unrolled. You're going to unroll. The laminate roll looks like this. It's got the paper that protects the sticky side. You're going to unroll it. You're going to take, I'll use this one really quick. You're going to take your little pictures, and I put them, um, sorry, I put them uh, picture down on, so sticky picture is facing the sticky part. And I just, you know, did a random assortment of the pictures. And then what I did was unroll it more, um, cut off. I think ultimately it was probably about that much, um, that much of the laminate that I that I opened up, and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold the laminate on top back and, and sandwich. You want to sandwich those pictures in between um, so that they are have the laminate on both sides and it protects them. And then because you want to be able to use these over and over, you don't. People aren't going to take these home. You want to keep them. Um, okay, so I did that, and that brings us to where we are now. Um, and then, oh, I was going to tell you guys, warn you guys rather, you can see here that I got air bubbles. Um, don't do that. <laughs> Make sure that there's no air bubbles. I'm going to have not a fun time trying to get those out once I cut them open. Um, some of them are okay. But like the bigger pitch, pictures got um, air pockets in them. So make sure that you get all the air bubbles out. Um, and then you're going to cut. Um, I did like, 
an extra, I made sure that I left like about an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit more than that, um, around the picture. You can see about how much I left. And I did that with both. I, you don't want to necessarily cut, um, you know, perfectly around the image. Leave a little space, a um, little room for error, so to speak. And then um, I went ahead and, and cut a little wider over the top of the picture so that I could do the hole punch and stick the ribbon through. And then I just tied it in a cute little little bow. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Um, hopefully that helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Post it in the in the comment box, and I'll try to answer your questions for you. But hopefully that helps. And um, I just thought it would be nice for some people out there that want to try the booking game because I think it's an awesome idea, and I'm very excited to try it myself. Um, and let me know what kind of success you have with it too. I really I'm I'm curious. Uh, for what I understand, it's it's been helping a lot of people. But um, so anyway, yeah, I I um, hope that that helps. And thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day.